Yeah, the vaccinations continue with the Pfizer vaccine at the University of Michigan Hospital. Yes, and we have Nick Monticelli actually there live with us to walk us through that vaccination process. Good morning, Nick. Ron Everard, good morning to both of you. I've been learning so much, and my numbers are actually already off. They're going to do 55 frontline workers today. Tom Mann is the Director of Occupational Health here at U of M. This must be exciting. Is that a good way? Are you nervous? Do you have anticipation? What's going through your mind today? Well, it's certainly an exciting week for U of M and, and for everything that's going on in the country. Um, we've got 55 employees coming in today to vaccinate, so we're excited about that. So um, it's, it's a great week. I want to show some video because we, we followed your nursing team through the hallways like we were stalkers when they had the, yeah. the, Pfizer, uh, the Pfizer COVID-19 uh, vaccine coming through. Um, you've already done five yesterday. This is the first time we've got a live TV crew in showing the process. I understand it's kind of a tedious thing because you've got some pretty strict restrictions on how you can handle this. That, that is correct. You know, we have to coordinate with our pharmacy team, our supply chain team, and getting all the things that we need here to be able to vaccinate. And then the timelines and how much time can the vaccine can stay out versus reconstituting it versus getting the staff here. So there's a lot of logistics involved. to be. And, and to speaking of, not to cut you off, but we're going to come back out live right now. Sarah is literally waiting in eager anticipation because she has to do that reconstitution process. And that literally is, for layman's terms, mixing it with saline to prepare for the patient, right? Correct. Correct. So Sarah will reconstitute. And then once we reconstitute, then we will utilize those uh, for the vaccinations. And she'll hand that off to our nurse and we'll be, be good to go when they arrive. Slow and steady hand. She's doing a great job. Are you nervous, Sarah, live on television? Not at all. You can't be. <laughs> Sarah's a veteran. She's got a day under her belt already. Right? She's doing a good job. <laughs> all right, Sarah, thank you so much. Tom, we really appreciate your time out here. So we're going to be live here all morning showing you what's going on and showing you the next 55 frontline workers coming through the lines. We're live here in Ann Arbor. Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News today. Mm, pretty remarkable to see this all unfold right here in our local hospitals, Nick. Thank you for the insight.